first item that we're looking at is a new flower that we developed in Italy called Double Zero Americana. This product is very high quality, very high protein, very high gluten. So it gives us, inside of a traditional deck oven, this five to 600 degree baking, a classic American pizza with the real authentic Italian flavors. With that pizza, when we make it, we marry it with traditional Italian tomatoes, whether it's either crushed tomato and puree or peeled tomato and puree. And from the Chow factory, we specifically designed a product that marries well with this to make an American pizza with Italian flavor profile. We're gonna be working with our master pizzaiolo at Orlando Foods named Michele D'Amelio. He's been here from Italy for about a year and a half. It's his second tour in America. But as Orlando Foods, we're happy to have a high quality, award-winning, world champion pizza maker. So Michele's gonna take us through the dough making process A to Z on a variety of different pizza styles. Michele D'Amelio. Hello, my name is Michele I'm from Italy. Today we're here to show you how we use this double zero American flour uh, to make uh, grandma Sicilian, uh, uh, Detroit style, New York style, all the kinds of American style. So for the recipe for full bag of flour is 14.5 liter of cold tap water, 500 milliliters or extra virgin olive oil, 125 grams of fresh yeast, 625 gram of salt. So why I love this flour is because that's made in Italy from all natural wheat, select all wheat to have a perfect blend to, the, to get us the right uh, amount of protein. And uh, the secret wheat is the Italian wheat because give the dough with flour the extra flavor because the Italian wheat tastes better. Now we're gonna go to the kitchen and uh, mix everything and get the dough so we can start to roll the dough and make some pizzas. Okay, now we're ready to make our Americana dough. First thing, we're gonna add the water. We're going to melt all the fresh yeast inside the water. We're going to drop three quarter of the bag inside. We are, we are leaving a quarter for later. Starting the process about 10-15 minutes in this specific mixer. What I always suggest, and I want you to suggest, you have to see how fast go your mixer. More fast your mixer spin, less time you have to mix the dough. So we don't want to overwork the gluten. After a few minutes, we don't see any wet, any water, we're gonna add the salt, because I don't want the salt get in touch with the yeast, it can affect the fermentation, so we, we're gonna add the salt only when we don't see any wet inside the mixing. I add slowly the salt, so I let it absorb. So now after the salt, we just give a few minutes to the salt get in uh, melt. We're gonna add all the rest of our caputo bag. And we're gonna keep the olive oil at the end because the fat part going always at the end. It's gonna absorb better the dough uh, if we put it later. Later by later, we start add the olive oil. We will mix it until the dough will be nice and smooth. We don't see any rest of the flour and all dough seems like uh, the getting built the gluten. So we're gonna have a really strong gluten can uh, hold all the fermentation from 24 up to 72 hours cold ferment. Okay, our Americana dough, it's ready after 15 minutes mixing. Uh, we're gonna take it out and make the dough balls.
We let it rest and we're gonna make the dough balls right after. Okay, after an hour, I'm ready to, to make the dough ball for our Americana dough. Uh, I'm gonna divide and uh, in this occasion, I'm gonna do 20, 22 ounce. I'm gonna roll it. And I'm gonna put for each container, six dough balls. I put a six dobos each container and my result after 24 hours cold ferment is that. This is our dough after 24 hours cold ferment in the refrigerator. Um, we take it out an hour early before you use it uh, to let it warm out the dough so it's easy to work. Uh, on the American pizza, we're going to use it, our Chow Authentica tomato. This is a crushed tomato. Just because it's crushed before in advance, has a, a lot of less water and uh, more juice. So it's perfect to use it on this kind of pizza with this more than five, six, seven, or eight minutes baking and give us the best result. Once we have the dough balls in front of us and make sure it's perfectly round, we start to create the crust. With a light pressure, gonna create an edge. Once we have the edge, we're pushing out all the gas inside the dough. And always Make sure we have a round pizza. Make sure also we don't go with our hands or finger on the crust. We want to keep a nice round even crust. Starting stretching. And turn on my hands. And I'm gonna dust the pill with a little semolina. Make sure we don't go out from the edge with tomato sauce. There we go. Start putting the cheese from the edge. And a little dust of Parmigiano. Ready to bake. Now then we have stretch a pizza and put the ingredients on, we're going to bake the pizza. We're gonna bake the pizza approximately between seven to seven minutes and a half at 550 degree. Now after seven minutes, we're going to take it out our pizza. You can see after seven minutes, we have a perfectly pizza. Uh, you can see the crust get it perfectly colored. 